Welcome friends. In today's video, we will learn when to use a array list as compared to a linked list. It is an important interview question and it will help you a lot in interviews. Apart from that, it would also help you in implementation in deciding in between the two data structures. So an array list is a number data structure. So since it's a number data structure, random access based on any index value is very convenient in array list. So suppose you want to access the value at index 2 or index 4 or any random index, then it is very convenient with array list. So whenever we need random access, then array list should be our data structure of choice. But the downside of this is that whenever we want to delete an element, suppose we want to delete element 2 from the array list, in that case, all the remaining elements 3 4 up to n will have to be shifted one place towards the left so deleting something from an, an, an array list is an expensive operation because internally it is implemented using arrays and it has to do the shifting operations so basically array list is suitable for faster random access based on index but it is unsuitable for removing or adding elements in the between. So in terms of big O notation, the time complexity for accessing an element in an array list is order of one. And that of adding or removing any element from an array list is of order of n. Linked list on the other hand is implemented by blocks pointing to each other. So in this case, suppose we want to delete the second element. We just need to change the pointing of the first element to the third element and remove the pointing of the second element from the third element and the fourth element from the third element. So just by changing the, the pointings, we can remove any, any element from our linked list. That's why linked list is suitable whenever we require to remove or add elements in between. On the other hand, if we want to access a particular element in a linked list, say for example, we want to access the fourth element, there is no other way for us apart, for, apart from traversing the list one by one from the 0th, 1st, 2nd, 3rd index this way. This is the only way in which we can you know, access elements in a linked list. Therefore, linked list is the data structure of choice whenever we require addition and removal in between. But in case when we require faster random access, in that case, it is not suitable as compared to an array list. So in terms of big O notation, the time complexity for adding or removing an element from a linked list is of order of one. Whereas the time complexity of accessing an element at a particular index is of order of n. So once again, friends, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such videos and also press the bell icon so that you may receive notifications about our latest videos.